Hey guys, thanks for joining me and welcome back to another room decor, room decorating video. Uh, today I'm going to show you how I created this beautiful mirror tray. I'm going to be using um, some chandelier crystals on the edges to just decorate it and um, elevate it a little bit. Uh, this really came out really nice. Uh, it was very easy to make, very quick, and uh, yeah, so I'm going to be using some items from my discount store, and I'm also going to be using the crystals which I picked up from Amazon. And this came out absolutely beautiful. I love the way this came out. So I'm going to go straight into showing you how I made this. So here are some of the things I'm going to be using. I'll have a complete list below. Uh, I'm going to be using this mirror that I picked up from my discount store. It was only a dollar. I'm going to be using two cardboard panels from a shipping box. I'm going to be using that um, duct tape. It's called 3M tape, but it's just like duct tape. I'm going to be using these crystals that I picked up from Amazon. These are real chandelier crystals. These are real glass. And as you can see, I'm trying to show you there's a small hole at the top. Uh, it came with two other additional crystals attached to it. I'm going to show you how I'm going to remove that. Um, and yeah, I have a whole bag of those guys. So I actually did a lot of work removing the um, other two pieces off of that. I'm going to be using this adhesive felt backing sheets. I'm going to be using that to put on the back of the mirror or the underside of the mirror. It's self adhesive. It's very easy to work with. Um, yeah, so I'm going to be using those. I'm going to be using the Aileen's the ultimate I only have a little bit in there if I run out while I'm using that I'll use the other glue I'm also going to be using all my tools my scissors tweezers glue gun I'm going to be using my thread cutters. I will also be using some diamond bling wrap which I will cut into single strips So here I'm showing you how I'm going to remove the two pieces from the main portion of the crystal is very simple guys I'm just going to take my pliers and pull the jump ring off the ring is very soft and easy to bend I think you can actually bend this with your nails but I'm going to use a plier today just to save my manicure so I'm going to get started guys so I'm taking the two cardboard panels and I'm going to put them together side by side and I'm just going to attach them with this 3m tape or this duct tape I'm going to uh, wrap the tape around the center of the two pieces. I'm going to wrap it around twice. Wrapping it around twice will add a little bit of added extra strength and stability. So right now I'm just going to take the mirror, I'm going to turn it over and trace the shape of the mirror onto the cardboard. So right here is a food cutter I'm using now. I bought this just to save my mat that I have on my crafting table. So now I'm going to use the self adhesive felt and I'm going to start to cover the back side. This will be the underside of the mirror. And I want a little bit of overhang because that will ensure me a better fit.
So right here guys, I'm just removing any of the extra felt that has overlapped right there. I want to remove that because I want the mirror to sit as flat as possible. So right now I'm just showing you that I've already taken the, the bling wrap and, and cut it into single row strips and I'm just going to hot glue that to the outer perimeter of the board. So right now guys, I'm going to stop. What I'm going to do now is to adhere the mirror to the board. just going to just press it into place and leave it to dry for about a couple of hours. And I'm going to add a strip of bling wrap on top of the edge of the mirror. So I'm just going to take this third strip of bling wrap and I'm going to adhere it in between the two that I previously laid. This is going to help achieve a more rounded look at the edge of the mirror. So now that I'm done with that guys, here are the crystals that I'm going to be using just to give you another close up. And I'm going to start off with Aileen's The Ultimate Adhesive. I love this adhesive. To me it's very similar to E6000. It has a very low odor, but I do recommend that you use it in a room that's well ventilated. So I'm going to start by adding one crystal into the corner first. So after I've done that, I'm going to go back in and add two more to each corner. So right now I'm just making sure the crystals are in the position that I like. I'm going to sit that off to the side and I'm going to let it dry overnight. 
here's the final project. Absolutely beautiful. It makes a beautiful display tray. I've been using it for my crystal. I've used it for my candles. I've used it for my flower vase that I made last week. I mean, this is absolutely beautiful. I love the way it came out. So guys, you let me know what you think in the comment section below. And I'm gonna thank you so much for being here and joining me today. Please don't forget to thumbs up this video and please don't forget to subscribe. Stay blessed, stay well, stay safe, and I'll see you at the next video. Bye-bye.